I thought we got some decent looks. You know, I thought we got some inside looks that were pretty good. We just missed. Um, you know, and we got a three, you know, for the lead with 14 seconds. I thought it was a pretty good three. There's something like that anyway. Uh, just missed, you know. So they've won because they take care of the basketball um, and they're used to winning. And so they made the plays. You know, I thought our defense was phenomenal tonight. I thought we made them work for everything. Um, I don't know what King would King get. Two for 12. Walton's one for 11, you know. Um, Wetmore's one for seven. I mean, that's a pretty good defense, wouldn't you say? I mean, I don't think it was just an off shooting night. I think we were, we guarded them, you know, and defended them. Um, held them to 49 points, which is probably their lowest of the year, at least maybe since December. And so um, I thought our D was phenomenal. You know, we just didn't score enough. Coach, uh, outscored you off turnover 17 9 points in the 18 game, which is a bigger concern for you in terms of the Oh, turnovers have been our issue all year. You know, just decision making. We're young, you know, and so uh, this team helps a lot. Um, I didn't think our spacing was great tonight. I thought we, it could have been much better. Um, you know, that's something. If you don't have space against this team because of the way they help, they're going to get their hand on a lot of things, and they're going to disrupt a lot of things, and they did tonight. And that's, you know, their defense, they, that's what they do. You know, they run their zone some, and then they gamble some uh, with doubling and helping in off, on the dribble. And, and so turnovers, you know, that's, that's been something that's hurt us all season long, you know. And, um, you know, that will come with experience and come with time, you know. Unfortunately, you know, we wish it were now instead of later. You know, but uh, points in the paint uh, was was not um, your true points in the paint. You know, I don't think they posted up one time tonight. It's just all off the dribble, you know, and, and uh, it's hard to keep um, Davis in front of you, you know, and she gets in the inside, you know, jumps into you, throws it up, and she's so good at finishing those shots. So, you know, that's where I think those points come from. And so uh, scheme-wise, the way this team executed, I thought we did a great job, um, you know, tonight. So turnovers are something that, you know, that's probably the difference in this game. Jimmy, how nice was it for you shooting-wise? Um, you have to bounce back game after a tough shooting night on Friday. What was your mindset coming in tonight? I just kind of approach every game with the same mindset and not try to worry about the last game and um, just, just come in and play my game. But it's still disappointing. I would have given back 22 of those points for a W, so. Mm -hmm. I think it is, man. I, I don't know. It's, it's uh, you know, this is, this is n new territory for me. So I'm trying to navigate it, you know, myself uh, a little bit. And, you know, two years ago, obviously, we didn't win many. Um, but we weren't supposed to at all, you know. And so anytime we were close, it felt like a win, you know. And then um, this year, you know, we come in with expectations. So losing isn't acceptable, you know. And so um, I think there's absolutely a mental toll, you know, and I think on all of us, you know, getting up back up off the mat day after day, you know, and coming out, and that's that's why I'm so proud of this group for the way they compete, you know. I mean, we got beaten a dis another disheartening game the other night, and then here we come back against, you know, uh, a Washington team that's a good one that's been on a run and um, won eight of their last nine or something like that, you know, um, a team that we had beat up there and let them off the hook, and then, you know, we knew we could play with them, but still to get back up is, is not easy, and so. Um, yeah, it's a challenge to deal with, with the, the mental baggage that comes with losing, you know. You said it's on charter scripts. How are you dealing with it? What have you learned thus far? Well, you know, I, that two years ago, there were some lessons in that season. And it's, you know, you, got, you can't look at the scoreboard, you know, as a coach. You know, it's my, my job is to make sure Jamie Wisner is better tomorrow than she was today, you know, and that our team's better than, she, than we were the day before. And so that's where your whole focus goes. You know, what's hard is it's a long year. You know, I mean, we've been battling like crazy since October. We've experienced more hard losses this year than any team I've ever been a part of. Um, 
you know, so it's getting long. How do you stay motivated? You know, how do you, there's no postseason now. So how do you keep coming back, coming back, coming back? You know, so that's where integrity is. And this group has a lot of that um, for me. Um, you know, I'm invested in their lives. I, I care that they're learning lessons as people, you know, and we get to play an awesome game every day. And, uh, you know, if we keep battling, good things are going to come from it, whether it's a win or just per personal progress, you know. And so uh, that's where our focus is. So I think um, it brings you right back to the foundation of what we do as educators. You know, you're not being rewarded with the scoreboard, which lies to you, both positive and negative. You know, uh, you could play terrible and win and think you're great. Uh, it's a lie. You know, if you lose, you, know, you could think you're worse than you are. So you can't do that. You got to look at successes. You know, tonight we beat this team on the boards by eight. Uh, we were seven of 18 from three. Uh, you know, um, we got to the line more than them in the first half, and then, of course, just the way things go, you know, uh, the other team seems to get more free throws than us in the second half. Uh, but we, get, we equaled them on free throws. I mean, we got 10 assists tonight. You know, there are a lot of good things in this game. Jim, can you speak to you know, the point about the mental toll that this stretch is taking on? I mean, the 22 points, you said you trade them all back for four of you. Uh, yeah, we just try to come out and practice every day and, like you said, get better and um, improve. And um, it's, it's, just, it's just hard coming out here every night and laying it out on, out, laying it out on the line and um, not receiving anything from it. But I don't know. We, we just try to get better every day in practice. Yeah, definitely, I do. Scott, you guys rely on freshmen a lot of practice, just young kids figuring out how to win at the collegiate level, and is this um, going to pay off down the road, maybe not this year, but in the years to come? Oh, I hope so. I mean, that's, that's what we came here to do. We came here to build a foundation. You know, we got a, a, a long process. You know, it's, you, don't, you don't build a Pac-12 winner overnight. Um, you know, for the long haul, anyway. I mean, we caught Magic a year ago. You know, um, but over the long haul, it's it's built over years and over, you know, a, cl a recruiting class like this one. You know, that has learned so many lessons this year. They understand how vital leadership is to a team. Um, you know, they are our future. You know, and once you build that foundation, it's solid. Then it's easy to build on that. It re it attracts more people like them. And this is a high integrity, great group. You know, um, they've learned some losses through a lot of pain this year. Learned a lot of lessons through a lot of pain this year. You know, well. Pain inspires greatness, you know, and so, um, I, I, yeah, I mean, th this group is going to be very special to watch over the next three years. Last year, you guys experienced a lot of success that surprised a lot of people, maybe mm -hmm. inside and outside of your program. Do you worry that now people have either placed such high expectations that look maybe just when you look at a record like you're going backwards? Uh, I, you know, no, I couldn't care less what people think. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I, what, they don't know anything. You know, people down the outside see a record. They don't know the story, you know. Um, the people that know the story of this group know that um, we were three heartbeats from six and two in a different season. You know, we had a game stolen from us, you know, at Washington the first time that felt like a win, uh, but it wasn't. And it's, it's been hard to recover from. You know, it was one call, you know, that changed things for us. And so, what they haven't seen is how hard this team's battled and how they've kept their spirits and how they've continued to come through. Tonight, you watch this game, you know, we go 0 for 8 from the 5 position in this game. What if we make 4 of those? You know, I mean, uh, we have a wide open. What if that 3 goes down? You know, and that's been the case in so many. We've been so close. You know, it's not like we're getting pounded every night and no, we've quit. It's the opposite. You know, we've just continued to battle and battle. We just don't have the experience to close right now. You know, and winning is a skill, and that skill, it, it's not good enough on this team yet. You know, and tonight you could just see two teams. One's used to winning, and they made the plays. Um, one isn't and didn't, you know. And um, that just comes with experience, and it comes with, uh, you know, continued progress. And so that's going to happen with, in this program and with these people. Jamie, when you committed with this group of freshmen, Billings, and the Raiders recruiting class, you guys came in and you saw like, the program on an upward trend. Do you still feel that it is on an upward trend? Yeah, definitely. Um, like like we said, coming in here every day and getting better and um, I don't know, just yeah, that's all I got. Do you feel like you're getting better every day? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a huge learning curve and um, we just don't have 
experience, I guess. And um, but yeah, definitely improving every day. I mean, if you watched us in December and watch us now, would you say we're better? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You know, I mean, it's night and day. We couldn't guard anybody in, in, in November, December. You know, now we're taking what I think it might be the hardest team to guard in our conference, you know, and holding them to 23% from the field. You know, I, I, this team is, I mean, we were a zone team through December. Now we're man, and now we're locking a team up in man defense. I mean, there's, we've had to adjust and adapt. It's just been a constant, you know, state of flux for this team all year, you know. And so to be where we are with the youth that, we're, that we have, you know, I'd love to have some more wins, but I'm proud of them.